I think it's the way life changes when in love, yeah I surround my soul with the positivity That's why I don't worry about the things that I don't see, yeah Hi guys, welcome to my YouTube channel. My name is Agi for those who recently joined us and I'm super glad that you're able to tune in today. So today's video, I'm actually going to dedicate it to all the moms out there and uh, I know people go through different things as moms. Being a mom is like a really hard job, like it's a, a job on its own and uh, I know that everybody's experience is different and we tend to go through different types of let me say let me just say that everybody has their own frustrations and you might think that your frustrations are really hard or that you have you're having like really bad you're, you're so frustrated but you find out that there's someone out there who is going through a worse time than the one you're going through so I just wanted to dedicate this video to all the moms because I know all of you are doing a great job out there and most of the time as moms you'd never get a pat on the back because everybody's like oh it's your baby you're not supposed nobody's supposed to like congratulate you or tell you you're doing a good job because those are your kids but sometimes you know you just need someone to just tell you like you're doing a good job especially for stay at home moms now I know everybody's experience is different for me I have worked so I've been a working mom and I've also been a stay at home mom but I would like to tell you guys that most of my life I have been a stay at home mom and I'm super grateful to God because let me just say like you when I hear stories of uh, of people out there who leave their kids with their nannies and horrific stories that I've had about nannies I always thank God that I was able to take care of my kids when they were much younger because I have three kids I have a nine-year-old I have a five-year-old and I have a three-year-old so most of the time when they are young I've gotten the chance to take good care of them and I know that moms out there like you will start leaving your baby at around three months which is so hard and I don't even know like how you feel because even me when my baby was three months I was like I can't leave my baby alone during that time because nowadays nannies are just be have, like I've had so many horrible stories on nannies and the things they do to kids they think the things like most of them have even left kids when you've gone to work and you find out that your nanny left the kids alone some of them have done terrible things to kids and so what really consoles me as a stay-at-home mom is the fact that I get to take good care of my kids and I just want to console a mom, a mom out there who is actually going through this moment that you feel like you're frustrated you're feeling depressed you feel like you you're you're not doing like you feel like your worth has gone down yeah so I just wanted to encourage a mom out there if you're going through that time it's just a passing a passing time and it will come to pass and you should just be grateful to God that you're able to take good care of your kids and that you're creating memories for your kids like they will live to remember the kind of things that you're doing to them I'm not saying this about the working mom because I know everybody's experience is different but this is just according to my own thinking this is just my opinion so I would like to tell you guys that uh, being a stay-at-home mom is really difficult it's it's really tedious and sometimes you get frustrated you can even be depressed if you don't take it uh, if you don't watch out because most of the time you're home alone like the whole day you're just alone like an, an adult of course because I've been a stay-at-home mom and there are times when I've been alone like the whole day just with the kids like right now they've closed school so you know you're just at home with the kids you're all alone and all you do is shout because being a mom of three boys I'm always I'm constantly shouting like I feel like even my neighbors they've heard my voice and some of them have never seen me like by the time they see me like they know that that's the woman who shouts up there because they're always climbing on things and it's really difficult for us especially if you live in Nairobi it's really like it's times too because I remember when we were younger we would go outside and we would play the whole day like your parents would even take a nap in the afternoon and they would just enjoy their own time and being living in Nairobi is so hard because you know there are no playground for kids so most of the time you get that you're just in those 24 hours with your kids and you don't like the house is where they're going to play the house is the playground so most of the time you find that they're climbing things and they're they're breaking things and they're making the house really dirty but 
yeah that's just the the thing of being a mom. being a stay at home mom there's certain things that you you don't know until you get to get there and then you start experiencing things and then you're like i didn't think it would be this way so i just want to encourage someone like it's just a passing time like all this will come to pass and just try to create something special with your kids yeah because i've been a working mom and it's also tiresome and being a stay-at-home mom also i've been for the longest time and sometimes it's really it, you get to a point that you feel like you're going into depression because most of the time you lose your friends that is the number one thing that i didn't know about being a stay-at-home mom you lose your friends because um sometimes they call you for their events that you're you're unable to go to because now that you're a stay-at-home mom you're going to be broke yeah if you don't look for probably a side house or you're going to be broke and sometimes your friends are going to call you to their events and you're unable to go for example they call you to their baby shower and you have nobody to watch the kids you have no money to go there you and then you know how baby showers are you need like like most of the time they put a theme something to wear you need to buy a gift you need you know to probably contribute for the food that you're going to have during the event and it's really costly so you find that uh, you lose your friends because sometimes you're, not, you're unable to go to those places and it's really being lonely being a stay-at-home mom because most of the time you're just alone with the kids and yes people will say oh you have your kids why don't you like uh, talk to your kids it's not it's not the same as talking to an adult because with kids you're always yelling you're always answering questions and sometimes you get super exhausted don't get me wrong i love my kids so much but i'm a human being and sometimes like you get really tired and uh you know you know with kids it's kind of different because you're always telling them do this do that and you cannot have like a a really nice conversation with them as compared to the conversation that you're going to have with an adult so you get that most of the time when i was a stay -at when i'm a stay-at-home mom i like I spend the whole day talking to the kids and I'm shouting and you're telling them sit down do this eat your food don't you know don't spit on the floor don't do this don't break that don't do that and you get that by the time it's five or it's in the evening that your husband is probably gonna come home you're so exhausted and you're tired and you look like you're so sad and sometimes he doesn't get it because probably he wasn't around during that time and he doesn't know what you went through and um so he feels like you don't want to talk to him but if he knew the kind of you know the kind of uh happiness you have because he's around he wouldn't even think like that because you you really long for him to come home so that you can have at least an adult to have a conversation with but by the time he gets home you're like so exhausted and you're tired and being a stay-at-home mom is also challenging because you never get a part of the bag because you know when i was working you would go to work you would sit on your computer you type and you do certain things and then when you do a good job your boss will be like oh that's a good job and then you you know when you're also working you get up you wear makeup you hold your hair you you brush your hair you're nicely dressed you're wearing perfume but when you're a stay-at-home mom there's none of that like probably most of the time you shower at night and don't get me because when I'm doing YouTube videos you look all put together I wish you'd see me when I'm not doing all this like I'm always in probably a tracksuit and a t-shirt and a jeans like and a short those are the kind of clothing that I feel I'm comfortable to wear when I'm in the house so you know when you stay at home mom you feel like you like yourself what has come down because you feel like you haven't achieved anything which is totally wrong because you're taking care of your kids I just like to like tell you that don't feel that way because you're taking good care of your kids and that is what you should be proud of if, you're a, if you are a stay at home mom I'd just like to give you a few tips to help you you know get through the day I would just like to tell you that try to find time for yourself try to find something that you do that you love for me I found YouTube and I it gives me like uh, something to look up to you know I, it gives me like it's like now I have a job and I feel like I have achieved something at the end of the day and uh, also try to find something that you like probably on Saturday or weekends try to go make your nails try to go do your hair and if you have friends I would really suggest that you go and probably uh, sit with your girlfriends have a chat have a drink and just enjoy yourself once in a week yeah, it will bring back your sanity back and also let's throw out 
you know all the imaginations and the expectations we have about parenting and being a mother and uh, just take a day at a time and just throw everything your all your expectations because we seem to have expectations that we don't when we don't meet them we become more frustrated so everything that you see in movies those are movies they the world doesn't work like that like being a stay-at-home mom is so different to what we watch on movies like it's super super different because when you see her in a movie it's super perfect you look someone they're they're nicely dressed but when you're at home you feel like you're super exhausted like you you when you're stay at home mom you tend to forget about yourself like you don't even have time to you know take care of yourself because you're taking care of all these other people and at the end of the day when you now want to take care of yourself you're exhausted because even for me sometimes even doing my hair becomes a problem especially when I'm alone yeah because by the time I am done you know with the chores by the time I'm done with the, you know getting the kids probably to bed I am so exhausted I cannot do anything else so probably if you take like one day out of the seven days just for yourself i think you're able to bring your sanity back so guys i hope that this video is going to be super helpful to you and if you haven't joined my my group of subscribers please hit the subscribe button and i'm gonna wait for one minute for you to subscribe yeah hit the subscribe button i'm waiting for you to hit the subscribe button yes, thank you so much for also don't forget to give the video a thumbs up and don't forget to leave me a comment about your experiences as a stay-at-home mom and I would really like to hear your comments in the comment section and also don't forget to hit the notification button so that anytime I upload a new video you're able to know that I have uploaded a video and you're not able to miss it so guys I'll hope I'll see you in my next video and thank you for watching you found the one, you should never give her up I think it's the way life changes when in love, yeah I surround my soul with the positivity That's why I don't worry about the things that I don't see, yeah These days I don't worry about much I think we should have